Hey everyone, Lazy Fire here. Welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Today we are taking on what should be our last tomb. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Um, don't remember which way I came in. I assume this way. Oh, the underwater. So yeah, we're going to do a tomb and uh, pick up our final rewards for that. And it's going to be fun. We're really close to the end of the game, and at this point, uh, this is kind of like final collect-a-thon stuff that we're going through here. Neat. Let's uh, check the map out. Happy. Well. Quite a few items. Notice back over here, there's a crypt entrance. And, uh, yeah. Kind of done after that. There's there's not documents to pick up in this area. That we can see. Well, nothing in this room. So that's good. That means that it's not going to be a uh, mad dash to pick up every last piece of paper in the game. My God. Explosives. By the spark. Only we had things that shot fire. I thought there was a weirdly shaped tile that was actually a map piece. So I think this is one of the ones that I had odd amounts of trouble. Mm. Demonic possession. They were performing exorcisms. Well, yeah, then. Deep below the holy ground of our city, we have found the source of the corruption. One of Hell's winding tunnels snakes up and vomits forth a miasma of evil. There is no pattern to the demon's depredations, but his mark is plain. Men driven to wicked words and acts, as God's grace is driven from them. We take them here to the mouth of Hell itself to drive out the demons. We do not always succeed. Often the poor wretches are too far gone and they die when we drive the beasts out of them. It is heartbreaking to lose good people, but we must stand against the devil in all his forms. Right. Yeah, sure then. Um, so this is actually one of those things where it was the Oracle of Delphi, I believe, where there was this concept that maybe uh, there were natural gases escaping into the chamber where she worked out of and those were what actually caused her to have visions. Uh, of course, there were multiple oracles and all this other stuff. I'm not going to get too far into it. No telling how many people died here. Man, we haven't had a good set fire... I believe this cavern was a gate to hell. We haven't had a good set fire to gases thing since uh, the Baba Yaga tribe. And there's... Some 
already down here. Hey. How's it going? Poorly? Yeah, I could have. Can't cut the rope. We gotta swing this thing out that way. down at the same time. <sighs> and I just murdered myself. Kind of... Oh, yeah. That was real helpful there. Uh, I guess I'm not going down there. Demonic possession. They were performing exorcisms. Okay. That was bad. one of the gas things to it. I could have just jumped. I gotta interact with this. get the game mandated to I am lost. Oh. I thought I had to rotate. <laughs> Alright, try this again. Alright, that should be high enough. Yeah, if I hadn't if I hadn't actually uh, hit the button, I don't think there's any way I would have actually seen that. The cage was being held down by something. side of this thing. That's true. No I, how many people died here. I was kind of hoping that it would just like rotate the way I wanted it to. And just know that. We're about to get the you solved the puzzle. Looks about right. Let's see if it works. It needs to be a faster way. But... I mean, it's not like they're super punishing you to make you go and do this uh, twice or three times or whatever it might be. Um, 
It doesn't take that long to run back up. It's like 30 seconds, but at the same time, I'm really lazy, and I don't want to deal with that if I don't have to. Jacob and his buddies. Deathless. A codex. Oh my god, this... This is the formula for Greek fire. It's on. It's on. It's on. My mind is clear today. It was not so yesterday, and it will not be again. They say the devil is inside me. They say I am possessed. I have seen the beast in my heart, and it is only me. Only my broken mind. But the priests will not listen. I cannot blame them. Some days they appear to me as apparitions of manifest pain and hatred. So clouded are my eyes. I spit and yowl, for I am mad. But I know there is no evil in my heart. Only sickness that no man can cure. Right. Well then. What else are we missing? Let's check. Uh, survival cash, that's it. Everything else was gotten. Excellent, good. It's really good news. I'm very happy. Uh, cause, yeah. I mean, it's not that I don't wanna go through it and search, but man, that, that makes things a lot easier and faster, doesn't it? So we were gonna go and do a little bit of a quick roundup. And by that, I mean we're going to go talk to the Remnant Woman and get our uh, items that, or prize or whatever the hell it is that we're going to get out of that. I still haven't seen that. Person. And uh, then we're going to go and pick up anything else that we might need to do. Alright. I think I just burned her. That that should be it. I really wish they had maybe a bit more detail in the fast travel map. Fast travel map is nice, it's good, nothing really wrong with it, but your fast travel map and your regular map with all the overlays and everything should really just be consistent. That way I'm not going, where the hell am I supposed to go and switching between the fast travel map and the regular map trying to find this thing that I'm looking for, especially if you have to go into a menu like that. Ooh, be Free bottles, yes, but oil. Here it up. Huh. Even if you can't interact with it, it usually allows you to. Little yellow birds. Bye. -bye. All right. See ya. Things got about as much balance as I do. Welcome back. You were right. The 
There are valuable secrets inside those tombs. Incredible. There's so much we've lost. But we will find it again. Here. It's a small price for this wisdom. I'm sure I can find some use for them. What the hell is the Sacra Umbra? Yep. Why is it giving me this now? If it gave me something that's used for the survival mode that they put in this, I'm gonna be fucking furious. Let's, let's check out our inventory. I guess I could use a large oil flask. Pistol pouch. Quiver. Quiver would be really nice. I have no... I just do not have any of the... Uh, any of the skins I need. Is it a bow? Bow? That would have been funny if it was like, here's my ancient Byzantine motherfucking gat. Use that for a while, actually. Yeah, I know this is getting old, but god damn it, I'm finding out. There it is. Sure. We're deathless now, motherfuckers. Check it. Chickens. Chickens. Back here. Find out how cool I am. I don't give a fuck about no animal rights. So yeah. We've uh, completed uh, another quest. And it seems like things are looking up, you know? Helping them, helping the remnant regain their, their lost traditions and stuff. Which is a weird thing that they've lost, considering Jacob's been around this entire time. But yeah, what do I? Whoa! I've never seen that effect before. That's kind of cool. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm looking for this. Oh! <laughs> Fucking heart shot that one dude, that was actually pretty good. So I need to like, some skins, not a ton. I'm not gonna like, completely decimate the deer population or that area, but definitely need a couple skins. Oh, you're kidding me. How are you back? All right. Guess what? Special skins. I guess me pulling out a, an automatic shotgun there is sort of uh, the Indiana Jones pulling out the revolver against the sword guy moment of this this whole LP. You know, that's it's probably a little bit of overkill. You know, just a little bit of time. But, man. How the fuck long has that been there that I didn't have it? Well, um, I 
did say we're rounding stuff out this episode. Although I'm trying to keep these consistent to like 20 minute affairs. Um, just because... I do love the heart shot thing. I feel like I unlocked it maybe a little late to be useful. But I don't think that, like, they have consistent, like, heart placement on all the animals. And I don't think that it's really that whole thing activates until after you've taken that ability. From what I recall. So you really do have to pick it up. Um, but it does make collecting stuff like that a lot. Hey, hey. Why was the rabbit that was snared carrying an arrow on it? I don't, I don't understand. Yes, I need a silenced pistol to go hunting. What are you talking about? We're full on special skins. Not on antlers, though, oddly enough. Alright, let's go grab that, which I believe is going to tell me I'm full on special skins. Where are we? Where's that body? Um. Like, I'm not high or anything. I saw that thing die. Pretty good. Alright. I guess we somehow missed this cave entirely? Ah, oh, motherfucker, again. Oh, well then. Guess I'm not doing that. Huh. Ah. Ah, uh, that was actually pretty funny. Yes, I just used Death's Breath's ammo on a bear. Why do you ask? I wonder why they all repopulated. I've actually never seen that happen before. Where the hell is that? I don't know where that actually is. That's a spot where wolves come out of. Must be out of here. There's another fucking bear down here, I give up. Oh, how did I not find this? We have a true test now, young ones. The valley is balance. When one thing slides, it affects all others. The fire two harvests ago led to an unusual bloom of berries. That led to more deer. And now, we've got too many damned wolves. They're not good eating, but to keep the valley in harmony, we're trekking wolves tonight. They come out after dark and roam the whole valley, but we're going to track them to their dens in caves and other underground places. Stay close together. When you hunt wolves, the wolves are just as likely to hunt you. Actually, uh, in one of the books I've recommended during this LP, uh, specifically uh, my year among or my life among the Eskimos, uh, 
the guy who wrote that actually points out that if he had to make a selection on like food items, wolf would actually rank up higher than uh, deer, uh, caribou, as it were. Just, just a thought, something I thought was interesting. All right, let's go find out where that is. And then I guess we have one other document in the area, way over here. And, uh, from, is it in the infirmary though? I don't know. I'm not going after the coin caches. And then we have multiple documents up here at the aquifer cavern. Okay. I may not do that all this episode. I may actually spread that out. That eh, looks like it's up top. It's a good thing that bear died when it did because I accidentally hit the uh, weapon switch button, which is why I pulled the pistol out all of a sudden. It wasn't me going for like some sort of specialized kill or anything like that. I was just fucking up. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, someone mentioned in the comments the auto shotgun, much much better than I thought it was. Holy shit. Should be over here. The one inside the cabin? Am I playing off like a bad save file? What the fuck is this? Alia is with child. My daughter. I cannot put into words the tempest in my skull. I know I have made a grave mistake. My people will accept it without an ill look, but they too will see the error of my judgment. It seems so cold to call this year of happiness with Alia and Era. But with every glorious moment, I knew that we sowed the seeds of tragedy. I cannot be a husband or a father, and still be who I must be for my people. Someday I will have to make a decision that pits my duty against the love of my family. I do not know how I will bend on that day. God help me, I'm a fool. So one of the, the weird things, maybe it's done on purpose just so it isn't like, I'm not getting that it's for us actually, I'm not worried about it. Um, but one of the things that the game does that I find maybe a little weird is, narratively, um, it doesn't actually like explain what Jacob's teachings were that were so controversial that like multiple governments and other authorities wanted him dead like what were you doing jacob what were you saying what was your prophecy about uh it just you know it kind of insists that yes he was a dangerous individual with dangerous ideas i wonder if this bear is back too if it is we're having just like let's murder endangered species episode I gotta think he is. Yeah, welcome, motherfucker. Oh yeah, headshot town. Here we go. Just headshot the fuck out of that bear. I probably could have done that, you know, triple fire technique, but I just I never do it consistent. It's not like it's a bad technique or anything like that. I think it's totally fine. Um, but like, I can't hit it consistently. So, it makes it, it makes it a little difficult to reliably use. And if you're in a life or death situation, you don't want to be kind of going, oh, well, maybe this one thing I do sometimes correctly will actually help me. That's, that's not, that's not the life you want to be living. So 
I believe our last item is actually up near the uh, top of the hill where we went and descended into Katesh proper. I do not understand why that rope is there. Like, on a fundamental level, I don't get it, because you're never going to go down this hill. Like, you can just jump off the waterfall. There's there's not a good reason for that thing to be. Yeah, that, that probably would have been theoretically faster to fast travel if I didn't go to murder that bear. If I had uh, stayed the course and just, you know, run over, or uh, just stayed in the village and then... Uh, fast traveled, I probably could have been here much quicker. But I had to murder that bear. It needed done. It's free skin. Oh, no, I don't feel disappointed that I missed that then. I feel disappointed that I missed that. That was painful. this game, do we? There we go. There's a woman in the valley now. Not one of us, but not one of them either. I saw her the night Elias was killed. She fought the men who were hunting us. Now I hear whispers from the forward scouts. My father and this woman were seen, free and unhindered. There's no telling what she wants or if I can trust her. But if she brings my father back, then perhaps God has not abandoned us. Hey, some Sophie characters. That's nice. What's her name, right? It's been so long. Let's grab some here. But, yeah, I'm not going back down there. That doesn't make sense. And we're missing documents over here. Like, like a lot. Like a lot of them. Oh. Oh. I mean, at least there's the base camp over there. Uh, but we'll do that at a different time. Because this has been kind of going on a bit. And I didn't realize that I... Well, Jesus Christ. Is anything going to work today? I'm just taking this rope down. Hi, birds. So, yeah. Uh, we just picked up a bunch of documents. I'm glad that I did that. That is probably helpful to uh, my XP levels and also, you know, in case people want to see those things. Hello there. Hi. I really wish they just, like, restocked the missions in here or something like that. That'd be kind of neat, actually. I- whoa. Those chickens just multiply in front of my face. Eek. All right. So, uh, let's take a quick look. Yeah. Check this out. Because I went and murdered a bunch of creatures, I can do things. I just wanted to see what the cost was. It wasn't updating fast enough. I got skins for days. Holy shit. Ooh. I need springs. I need many springs and many scrap, please. I want to go back to the heavy pistol. What? World? I'm good with the bow. But... Yeah, large oil flask? I mean, look at all that. 
that, that's gonna drain my skin supply. Still ammo. Quiver I could have had earlier. We're pretty close to the uh, end of the upgrades here, huh? Let's do the large oil flask. Uh, so yeah, next time we're gonna go back. We're gonna continue on the end game. I'm probably gonna just uh, maybe uh, grab some of the documents that we still have hanging out and start throwing them into the episodes uh, at the end. Uh, but I'll do that off screen. You don't need to see me retread a lot of these areas. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you next time.